السلام علیکم یس مائی برادر ویلکم سعید Now uh, I don't know you must explain to me I I pay every month or so you know zakat you've been paying every month ji allah reward you inshallah so can i do that because uh, he just saying now you know stipulated date or <laughs> okay so salim what you need to do very important right you must still yes. do a calculation once a year the calculation you must still do once a year Okay. All right, okay. Okay. The zakat that you've already paid is what we would call zakat in advance. Okay? Okay. So what you are going to do, let's let me ask you this ex- question quickly. When do you normally calculate your zakat salib? Um but I never used to. I just used to pay like monthly, you know. No. The payment is different and calculation is different. So How, oh, okay. how do you decide how much to pay? You must have done a calculation at some point, right? Salim, is your TV on? If you can just switch your TV screen, if you can just switch the volume off on your screen, if you don't mind, Brother Salim. Okay, it looks like we've dropped. Okay, so let me come back to Salim quickly, right? The, what I mentioned earlier is important, is the calculation needs to be done once a year, number one. and you know then what's the value that you need to pay on and then of course you are paying it off and the payment that you are making from this ramadan to next ramadan is not for the value that you've got on hand now is actually in advance payment of your potential zakat next year and why do we do this because at this time of the year you may not have enough liquid your cash to be able to pay off your zakat so what you are doing is you are estimating your zakat paying it off so let's assume you pay off a thousand rand every month from this ramadan to next ramadan meaning you've paid off 12000 rand next ramadan you are going to do your calculation and your calculation will tell you zakat payable is 11 is 12, 13000 it means Next year you've already paid 12000 in advance you only now need to pay 1000 rand to settle the zakat obligation for next year so you can pay off every month but the payment that you are making is for next year and not for this year inshallah all right we've got more callers online inshallah we're going to start uh, with uh, caller okay so brother salim i hope i've got you back online here Okay so, so Salim was it clear for you so the payment that you are making yes you can make it but it is for next year's zakat and not for the zakat that you are owing for this year Okay so next year is, yeah. yes carry on brother Salim uh, uh, if i get you see i get money in in between yes yeah same what i'm saying yes i get more money in more from whatever in during the course of the year yes so how am i going to calculate it Okay so again I'm telling you Salim you only calculate zakat once a year and okay. the, the question I tried to ask you earlier is when do you calculate your zakat when islamically in which islamic month or date do you normally calculate your zakat Salim uh, it's like just after eid you know excuse me just after eid just after eid uh, the the eid al fitr yes okay so every year on Eid al-Fitr or the day after Eid al-Fitr that means after you get all your ED alhamdulillah you get plenty of extra money <laughs> right? right you sit down and you do a hisab you do okay. this is my total zakat that i owe if you are able to pay off that zakat as quickly as possible okay and okay. then you make a niya that i'm going to pa- start paying my zakat for for next for next year next. so you start right. paying off that amount in installments or however you however much you're going to pay make a record of it keep that one side okay N- next year for the next eid you will sit down and you'll work out how much is my zakat number one how much okay. have i paid between last year and this year number two and then my difference is this much and i'm only going to pay the difference off it will okay. make you and your amount that you need to pay easier for you inshallah inshallah 